Ooh, moto guzzi. Oh, dang. The man, the legend. Well, as promised, everybody, we honor it. Wheel to wheels here. Boom. With the man himself, Mr. Joe. Bro, sex back right here. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Champion Cycle. On this episode, we have another quick wheel to wheel for you guys. Uh, we have one of our longtime loyal, good customers, Joe. You guys may have seen him on the board commenting in all our videos, and he's always supporting us. He's kind of a Google guru. Those guys flew him out down to San Francisco to work with them and stuff. He's, he's kind of a go-to guy for a lot of internet knowledge and motorcycle knowledge around these parts anyways. He's gonna give you guys a little wheel-to-wheel -wheel, uh, info and kind of spec history on his 2006 Honda VTX 1800C. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. We're gonna let our homie, Mr. Joe, steal the show, tell us stories, tell us everything. So what we have here is a 2006 BTX 1800C model, Cobra pipes, Cobra floorboards, chrome swing arm, chrome shaft cover, brown Mustang seat, ISO grips, chrome switch housing, chrome levers. Nice quick really setup though, eh? Yeah. Boom. Oh, no, that's it, and comes right off. Check out that weight reduction style upgrade, everybody. Boom! Chrome swing arm here. Yeah, what else we got? Uh, there's the chrome shaft cover, there's the chrome around the rod. Bam! Uh, that's pretty much, you know, chrome side covers, <sighs> chrome sissy bar right here. Mm. I'll admit, I'm a sucker for chrome. Hell yeah! Some people dream in color, other people dream in chrome. Bling, bling, bang! All installed by Champion. Oh, Champion Vigo bra. I have some practical upgrades, All which right. you can't really see. There's a, a K&N high floor air filter in here. There, yep. Plus uh, the exhaust gave it a little bit more snap. I think uh, what I'm gonna do in the near future is I'm gonna get Danny to put in a power commander. Awesome. And that's gonna be a game changer for sure. Right, dude. So what's it like to tune one of these things? Just put a power commander in and you're good to go? So these Metro Cruisers, they gain a lot from tuning. Just like every bike does. Um, this particular bike, Joe's bike, actually we have not tuned it yet. He's only recently started going crazy with his pipes and other good stuff. And he's really looking into doing a lot more performance now. Uh, stay tuned. In the horizon, we do have Power Commander install and Dino Tune video to come. Uh, that is on Joe's to-do list in the very near future. We're running Dunlop Elite for front and back. Awesome. Uh, really sticky tire. I just had it installed here actually two weeks ago. I'm really happy with it so far. And you got some balancing beads in there. Yeah, well, you can't really see that, but we got yeah. balancing beads in here which you know you don't have to put metal weights on the on the tire there's a progressive spring in here too rad okay which definitely gives it a nice uh, smoother ride we showed you guys the quick release magic yeah, on the, the windshield quick release, i mean it looks nice and lean like this oh, it uh, does. i mean it's a perfect bar hopper once uh the uh windshield is off but you know i ride long and hard five six hour ride sometimes so the novelty of no windscreen that does wear off yep. after about an hour with the wind beating on my chest trying to hold on for dear life. You know what can I say? This bike is definitely a torque monster. Doesn't matter what gear I'm in, as soon as I smash that throttle it just goes. Forgot about this chrome shaft cover here. I mean, there's a lot of little things here. I mean it's not fully fully dry but I put a little things in here to make it my taste. Absolutely. I mean, you don't really see many VTXs, but if you do, you're not going to see one exactly like this. I think being individual, having a motorcycle is one of the, the beauty of, of ownership. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Make it yours, make it unique, build it for you. Joel has 43,000 miles, Damn. and the only thing he's done is tune-ups. Right or wrong? Yeah, I think once the variety... Legend. The radiator was, yeah, and it wasn't, but it wasn't the radiator we had to change, was it? No, it wasn't. It was just a small crop. It was a small, yeah, like it's, all in all, it's a good bike. Like an off oh man. I'm the worst guy to say what I like and I hate, because unlike most mechanics that like to be brand specific, I'm not. Honestly, they're all crap. They all break, they all get fixed, 
They like they're the same, man. Every bike has their pro, every bike has their con. They all break, they all get fixed. See you later. You know what I mean? Ride what you like, ride ride what's comfortable for you. In Joe's case, he put his car risers, all his chrome tidbits and all his fancy odds and sods and exhaust and his nice brown seats and matching stuff. So he made the bike kind of tailored for himself. And uh, he does more riding than most of the guys around here that are riding from Tim Hortons to Coffee Time and back, right? There ain't no trailer queen, right, bro? It's not uncommon for me to do 863 kilometer days. I'm talking going up to Algonquin, <laughs> heading east of the 518, down through the back notice, road. In case you didn't notice that, he said, 863 Come on, kilometers. kilometers. Not 860. No, no, no. Not over 800. 863. Precision. 863, because you know he's counting the fuel. Yeah. Look, what can I say? It's a Honda. Yeah, anyone that knows anything in the Honda know that these things last forever. I mean, I'll probably be old and gray before this bike. We'll probably pass uh, this on to the next of kin. Yeah, you know what? Outlive all the Harleys in the world. Well, for me, I really like this bike. So you could say it's going to be a family heirloom for sure. So what's it like to work on these beasts over your experience as a bike mechanic? Are, uh, are, are, are they immortal compared to a Harley? <laughs> no? The thing is, all these bikes have their problems. They all have their pros and they all have their cons. Metric bikes have their little issues and gremlins just like the American Harleys and stuff like that, they have their little gremlins. The difference is the level of gremlin anger, we'll call it. These type of metric cruisers, generally, they won't break down mechanically. However, you better get ready to start changing stators and rectifiers and batteries and coolant leaks and those type of little issues, because they will happen. Uh, the difference is a Harley, you're probably in, in, in 100,000 kilometers, you, you change your stator once and you rectifier twice. Whereas this bike, you'll do it and you'll do it three times that amount. So, I mean, there's the good and the bad. Uh, you know, Harleys tend to have other issues, compensator issues, clutch issues, stuff like that goes on with Harleys that doesn't with these. Even in a Harley's defense, I will say the old theory that Harleys were kind of leaky, noisy, uncomfortable bags of wood. That kind of died with the old style Harleys. Like these newer Harleys, they've changed a lot. So the newer Harleys, they're running Japanese electronics. They're running Italian Brembo brakes and masters. Like they've really, Harley Davidson as a company has really picked and chose the best the world had to offer in terms of you're getting your American concept and engine, etc. but you're getting the Japanese electronics to control it all and you're getting the Italian brakes and that performance level. So I mean, Harley has their good and the bad. The difference is the metric cruisers, they kind of have been ahead of that from the get-go. You're getting Japanese everything on the bike. And I mean, you know, it's no different than a Honda car, right? As much as you'd love to hate them because everybody else loves them, you can't. Because they really do last forever. For me, it's an achievement. I mean, yeah. I want to put miles on my bike. Yep. I mean, not putting miles on your bike is kind of saying like, you know, you don't want to do anything with your girlfriend because you want to save her for the next person. Bro, thanks for coming out. You're a legend. Thanks for having me, Matt. Yo, oh, Mr. Joe. Find him in the comments down below, everybody. He's a legend. Subscribe to Champion Cycle, man. This shop does unbelievable things. Danny and the crew can do it all. Thanks for coming by again, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Cheers. All right, guys. This has been the Wheel to Wheel episode on our pal Joe's Honda VTX. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we had him step in and do a lot of the talking, tell you about his bike so you can get that personal feel. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget guys, like, comment, and subscribe. As long as you guys keep doing that like you've been, uh, we'll keep these videos coming. Uh, stay tuned for more about Joe's VTX and other good bikes and good things coming your way. Um, say hi to Joe on the board. You'll see him everywhere. Mr. Joe, he's there. Say what's up, Joe. What's up, guys? Legend. This is where it all gets done. Boom. This shop is where the magic happens. This is a ghetto bird flying over. Because they know Joe's here. What's in these bags, Joe? Clean as hell, though. I like the pride and ownership on this machine.